Preparing an outstanding written report by university students, especially one that meets the high standards of institutions like Harvard University and University Uttara Malaysia, involves clarity, structure, content quality and adherence to academic standards. Here's a concise guide to help you craft an effective report for student assignments, case studies and group projects. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the requirements by reading the instruction carefully. Ensure you fully understand what is asked. Look for key words like analyze, compare, contrast, etc. Then you need to know the grading criteria to understand how your report will be assessed based on the rubric assigned in the instruction of the assignment, case study or group project. Focus on these areas to maximize your score. In essence, understanding the assignment's objectives isn't just about knowing what to write, but also how to write it and for whom. It's a compass that guides your research, planning, writing and revision. Remember, a clear understanding of your assignment's objectives is the first step towards a high scoring submission. Now that you've understood your assignment's objectives, it's time to dive into research. Research is the backbone of any academic assignment. It's not just about gathering information, but about exploring the depths of your subject matter. You see, when you delve deep, you can uncover insights that aren't immediately apparent. This is where academic journals, books and credible online resources come into play. Think of these resources as your treasure chests. Academic journals, for instance, are often rich in specialized knowledge. They contain the latest developments, theories and debates in your field, offering you a wealth of information to tap into. Books, on the other hand, provide a broader overview. They can help you understand the context, history and major themes related to your topic. And let's not forget about online resources. The internet teems with a wide array of information, from scholarly articles and research databases to educational websites and even podcasts. There's a digital universe waiting to be explored. But remember, not everything that glitters is gold. The internet can be a double-edged sword with misinformation lurking around every corner, which brings us to the importance of evaluating your sources. Not all information is created equal, and it's crucial to distinguish fact from fiction. Check the credibility of your sources. Are they reputable? Are they authoritative? Do they present information in an unbiased manner? A source's relevance is equally important. Does it contribute to your assignment? Does it support your arguments? Evaluating your sources doesn't have to be a daunting task. Look at the author's credentials. Check the publication date to ensure the information is current. Review the source's references to see if they're from reputable sources. And don't forget to cross-check information across multiple sources for accuracy. Do not rely on the result produced by AI by just copy and paste from it or simply paraphrase it. Use the digital tools to make you see a wider view and motivate your own writing ideas. Thorough research not only strengthens your assignment, but also broadens your understanding of the topic. So, keep digging, keep questioning and keep exploring. After all, knowledge is a treasure that will follow its owner everywhere. Use your critical thinking and use proper analytical tools like charts, data or infographics. With your research done, it's time to plan your assignment. But why is planning so crucial, you may ask? Well, consider this. An architect wouldn't start constructing a building without a blueprint, right? Similarly, an assignment without a plan is like a ship without a compass. So let's start by creating a detailed outline. This isn't just about jotting down a few bullet points. It's about organizing your main points logically. Think of your outline as a map that guides your writing journey, helping you navigate through your arguments, evidence and conclusions without getting lost. And here's a pro tip. Don't just outline your points, but also allocate word counts to each section. This way, you ensure that every section gets the attention it deserves. Remember, not all sections are created equal. Some will require more in-depth analysis and discussion, so they'll need a larger chunk of your word count. But how do you determine the importance of each section? Well, this comes back to your research. Which points have the most supporting evidence? Which ones are most relevant to your assignment's objectives? These are the sections that should have the most weight in your assignment. A well-planned assignment has a clear structure and flow, making it easier for the reader to follow your arguments. 
So don't rush to write. Take the time to plan. Your grades will thank you. The next step is to put pen to paper, or rather, fingers to keyboard. As you embark on this writing journey, remember that clarity and precision are your guiding stars. They will illuminate your ideas, making them easily accessible and digestible for your readers. Now let's talk about conciseness. Brevity is indeed the soul of wit, and in academic writing it's the heart of clarity. Express your thoughts in a clear, direct manner. Avoid the temptation to showcase a thesaurus worth of fancy words. Instead, focus on crafting sentences that precisely convey your message. Unnecessary jargon or complex language can often muddle your ideas, making it harder for your readers to grasp the crux of your argument. This brings us to the active voice. Writing in the active voice means the subject of your sentence performs the action. For example, the cat chased the mouse is active, while the mouse was chased by the cat is passive. Active voice sentences are generally more straightforward and energetic. They make your writing more engaging and easier to follow. In summary, writing with clarity and precision is all about being concise, using active voice and steering clear of unnecessary jargon. It's about making your ideas shine, free from the fog of convoluted language. Remember, clarity and precision in your writing can make a world of difference in your assignment's impact. Writing alone isn't enough. Your assignment needs a strong discussion supported by solid arguments and evidence. So, let's dive into the realm of critical analysis and argumentation. Firstly, a thesis statement. Think of it as your assignment's North Star, guiding all your thoughts and ideas. It's a clear, concise statement that expresses the main argument or focus of your work. Your discussion should be arguable, not a fact or observation. It should challenge and engage your readers, making them want to read on. Now, on to supporting your arguments. Imagine your thesis is a castle. Your arguments and evidences are the sturdy walls protecting it. Each argument you present must be backed up by substantial evidence, be it data, case studies or theoretical arguments. These are your bricks, your concrete. But remember, every single piece of evidence you use should directly link back to your thesis. This is what makes your castle impregnable, your argument invincible. But here's the kicker. It's not just about presenting information, it's about analysing it. This is where critical thinking comes into play. Don't just parrot facts and data. Discuss their implications, question their validity, contrast them with different viewpoints. This gives your assignment depth and showcases your intellectual prowess. It's like adding intricate designs to your castle walls, making them not just strong but also aesthetically pleasing. And while doing all this, remember to tread carefully. It's easy to get lost in the maze of arguments and counter-arguments. Stay focused. Keep your thesis in sight. It's the beacon that'll guide you through. In conclusion, an outstanding assignment isn't just a collection of well-written sentences. It's a well-constructed argument with a strong thesis at its heart, fortified by solid evidence and beautified by critical analysis. It's your intellectual castle standing tall and proud in the landscape of academia. Critical analysis and strong argumentation are the backbone of any outstanding assignment, case study and group project. So go ahead, build your castle, make it strong, make it beautiful, make it yours. Last but not least, let's talk about the importance of citations and references. Now these aren't just fancy academic formalities, they serve a critical role in your writing. First up, they help you avoid the dreaded P word, plagiarism. By acknowledging the original authors, you're showing respect for their work and integrity in your own. But it doesn't stop there. Consistent citation style, be it APA, MLA, Harvard or any other, gives your assignment a professional look. It's like a uniform that your references wear, making it easier for readers to follow and understand them. Moreover, citations and references are like the roots of your assignment. They show the depth of your research, the breadth of your reading, and the strength of your argument. It's like saying, I didn't just make this up. Look at all the experts who back me up. Proper citation not only helps avoid plagiarism, but also shows the depth of your research. Before submit your work, Check it using Plagiarism Checker or AI Checker to ensure your writing is original and not written by AI or copy and paste work for others. Assignments often involve teamwork. Let's look at how to make the most of it. 
Teamwork is the lifeblood of any vibrant academic community. It's the glue that binds students together, fostering a sense of camaraderie, shared purpose and mutual accountability. A group assignment is not just about the final product, but also about the process, the journey of working together, learning from one another and achieving shared objectives. Let's start with the role of a leader. The leader sets the tone for the entire group. They define the assignment's goals and set realistic deadlines for each task. The leader ensures that every team member understands what is expected of them. They assess each member's strengths and interests and delegate tasks accordingly. This strategic delegation maximizes the team's overall efficiency and quality of work. Communication is another crucial aspect of leadership. The leader maintains open lines of communication, holding regular meetings to address concerns, track progress and adjust plans as needed. They foster a culture of cooperation and mutual support, facilitating brainstorming sessions to harness the team's collective creativity and problem-solving abilities. Conflicts are inevitable in any group setting. The leader's role is to address these disagreements constructively, striving for resolutions that are acceptable to all parties while keeping the focus on the assignment's objectives. Then there's the role of a team member. They need to understand their responsibilities and how they fit into the larger project. Any doubts should be clarified to ensure everyone is on the same page. The leader also has the responsibility to motivate and support the team. Recognizing and appreciating each member's contributions can maintain morale and motivation. After all, a motivated team is a productive team. Finally, the review and editing process should be a collaborative effort. Organizing collective review sessions allows the team to fine-tune their work, ensuring it meets the highest standards of quality and coherence. Remember, a successful group assignment is all about effective teamwork. So there you have it. The keys to preparing an outstanding university assignment. From deciphering the task's objectives, conducting in-depth research, meticulous planning, writing with clarity and precision, to executing a critical analysis. Not forgetting the importance of proper citations and working effectively in a team. Each step is a cog in the wheel that drives your assignment towards excellence. With these tips in mind, you're now ready to tackle your next assignment. Good luck. Before we wrap up, we have a valuable resource to share. For further insights and tips on how to ace your university assignments, we highly recommend visiting muhammadmuhaizam.weebly.com. This website is a treasure trove of resources, loaded with comprehensive guides and tools to help you enhance your academic skills. So, don't miss out. Make sure to bookmark it and use it as your go-to resource for your next assignment. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending journey, and every resource you find can be a stepping stone towards your academic success. Thank you for viewing.